Hello everyone, this is uh, take two. <laughs> I just did a seven or eight minute video and it had no sound. So apologies if you were one of the people who watched that and thanks for letting me know. But hopefully this works. But basically we come to you from Pop Century, as you can see, we're in our Pop Century room. And we thought we'd just give an update on what the last kind of 24 hours have been like, what the next 24 hours looks like it might be like. Obviously we don't quite know, there's a lot of uncertainty. But we we are now basically getting ready. So it is, what's the time? It is half four on Wednesday, what is it, the 8th of October, I think? And Nine. the 9th of October, losing track of days already at Disney World. And we have just had a amazing morning, early afternoon at Epcot. And we are now kind of getting ready to get our food, prep and get, and as the winds pick up and Hurricane Milton approaches and it's gonna pass over us overnight and tomorrow morning um, to kind of get ready to not leave the room, which as it is quite a small room will be quite interesting. And for those who don't know, at Pop Century, you have like the main building, which has the food hall and an arcade and stuff like that. And then you have unattached to that, you have buildings that have rooms in um, next to the pool. So because of the wind speeds that the hurricane is going to get up to, you obviously can't leave your room to walk to the to the main hotel. So it's, it's basically being stuck in a very small room for, well, we'll see how long it is. But obviously safety comes first, so we can't we can't you know one day is not the end of the world and we'll be fine and we'll watch movies and we've got some purchases oh yeah we've got pizza Look movies drinks we've got loads of waters we've got loads of snacks we've got some entertainment we've got some lego from disney springs yesterday yeah um do you have it is yeah i'll go get it um we thought this would be quite good it's like 600 pieces or something so it's not the hardest but yeah. it's the castle so it's some feel good disney vibes which we can do in front of a Disney movie, maybe. Um, but we actually, so if you go back kind of 24 hours or just over, we, in terms of how Disney are reacting to this, so we actually, because of the reason I said about Pop, looked into moving to potentially a different resort or keep, or not, not giving up our room necessarily, um, but basically seeing if there was any free rooms that we could pay for to stay in a hotel, which is more, you have everything in one building so that you could go to the gym or you could go to the bar. I don't know if that's gonna be actually available, but as a potential just to get out of the room and stretch your legs. But understandably, Disney put a pause about 36 hours ago on making reservations um, at any Disney World Resort. Doesn't matter if you have a room already or you don't have a room, no reservations. And the reason for that is kind of twofold. The first is they want, for the people who had reservations and and should have left kind of either today maybe or tomorrow they need to be able to stay for an extended amount of time if because obviously during the hurricane they're not going to be able to travel and we don't know how much travel disruption there's going to be there's probably going to be a lot i mean orlando airport is completely shut yeah and then even the roads i'm sure there's going to be a lot of problems um and the second Gun is risk, all of that stuff yeah the second reason is disney cast members i think obviously need to have a room so that completely makes sense and Disney are obviously on top of that so we're in pop we had an amazing day at Magic Kingdom on Tuesday and we vlogged the whole thing which had beautiful weather that day and it was really amazing pretty quiet actually for Magic Kingdom mm -hmm. and then this morning parks were open till basically maximum until 2 p.m so we went to Epcot it was rainy not freezing not warm um, but it was very rainy, um, but incredibly quiet. Like everything was a walk on. Everything was a walk on, maximum five minutes. So like walked straight onto Ratatouille, straight away, frozen, everything. Um, got some food, enjoyed it. It was really good fun. Um, and obviously, given we're going to be stuck in a room, we wanted to make the most of it. Um, but yeah, obviously they need they needed to give everyone time to get back to the resorts. The cast members importantly to get home or for the ones well, that are working at the resorts to get back to the resorts and also we, we are we have now been put on our tornado warning so i think that as well has kind of 
Yeah, in terms of what the weather looks like it's going to be at the moment, it looks like the high winds. So the winds are definitely picking up and it's, ra it's very rainy and windy, I'd describe it as that, but you can walk outside at the moment. Mm -hmm. The incredibly high winds, speed winds, are going to look to come basically overnight. So about midnight until about 3pm tomorrow at the mm -hmm. moment. Now at one point they were showing at like 125 miles an hour in Disney World. Yeah. It's now dropped to I think the max maybe showing about 85. Yeah, it's um, shifted slightly south. Yeah. So that but like Maddie said, we Disney World has been put on a tornado warning. So it is obviously very serious, but yeah, we're incredibly lucky that Disney are being amazing. The cast members are incredible. Yeah. They're still serving food right now. They're working so hard. And also they're just working hard to get everyone feeling as relaxed as possible and reassuring everyone as much as possible. And you know, it's not nice for them too. They're having to work really crazy hard and make sure everyone's okay. So, yeah, even harder. Yeah, yeah, they're honestly, the cast members are amazing. And Disney, to be completely honest, has reassured everyone so well, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's way busy so going to the do, food hall now and there's really long queues and yeah. the cast members working crazy hard and, you know, they've got families to go back to and, you know, some of them have probably volunteered to stay at the resort and yeah. help out. So yeah, massive, massive thanks but, to them. They're incredible. And to be honest, all things considered, I think we're very lucky to be in a Disney hotel. Um, yeah. And, you know, people in villas, it's a lot more stressful for them, I think. Um, and we were on our way back from Epcot in a taxi and the um, taxi driver said over 2 million people have been evacuated, have had to from evacuate Florida. their homes from yeah. Florida. So yeah, in my the... head, I just really hope those people are okay. Um, yeah, we hope the destruction okay. is kept to an absolute yeah. minimum because I think the worry is the ground's saturated. So when, obviously the rains will saturate it even more and then when the winds come, it just knocks Mm. trees over and you know trees hit power lines or crush cars or land on houses so yeah we just keep going to keep we're going to stay in our room yeah. drink some drinks watch movies eat some food do some lego yeah do some editing of the vlogs we've got loads of vlogs coming out and just keep our fingers crossed for everyone in florida that they're gonna stay as safe as possible um and yeah you can rebuild you can rebuild build homes and roads and everything but you can't um Bring someone back so we just hope everyone stays safe yeah. and we we have an instagram for our kind of travel which is in our bio to our youtube so we'll be adding stories to that to keep everyone updated we yeah. might go do a live tomorrow evening um so we'll keep everyone updated because i know people are interested people who often come on holiday to florida or have been yeah. to florida before and watched the disney vlogs so yeah. yeah and then other than that we'll have a uh, loads of long vlogs coming out with really enjoying vlogging the holiday and we're yeah. very blessed that we've got a f over a week after this happens still at Disney for Pop, at Pop Suntry and Boardwalk. So mm -hmm. lots of vlogs coming and yeah, keeping our fingers crossed and our thoughts with everyone in Florida. Mm -hmm. But we'll keep you updated and let us know if you've got any questions. See ya.